Hello, this is Rolf Agner, the trainer for SICK Incorporated. We're going to show you the Inspector, a new vision sensor uh, product that we have. They are available in a few different versions, but they all have an object locator tool, making it very easy to set up and operate the unit. It automatically will, will find an object that it thinks that you're looking for, and then from there you can refine that setting. All of the uh, inspectors have a full 360 degree rotation capability, so the target doesn't have to be oriented exactly the same every time. The uh, inspector can store uh, objects as references, either 16 or 32, depending upon the, uh, the model. Uh, the inspectors also have a tool called scaling, which you can uh, turn on and turn off, that allows the product to be presented at a slightly different distance. So if your, uh, your subjects look a little larger or a little smaller, the inspector can compensate for that so you don't have to have quite as uh, close a position. Uh, we now also have expanded I.O. modules so we can have additional inputs and outputs so that you can do more sorting and, and more things. Uh, Ethernet is built into all the inspectors, making it very good and easy to see images very quickly for uh, aiding in your setup. Uh, the uh, I-40, one of the later models, also has Ethernet IP available so that we can uh, write directly to the registers and PLCs and have more of that extended communication going on. We also have FTP server available in that model too. This is very useful because you can uh, immediately uh, download an image, uh, perhaps a failed image. You can determine based on logic when you send those images. Um, and same thing with your outputs. Your outputs are configurable uh, so that you can create logic and turn on outputs based on if this and that or this. You can set up that logic to, uh, to do your uh, sorting operations. One more thing that uh, has been added to the inspector and that is a very robust pattern matching tool. It is uh, very solid, works very well for, uh, for picking up uh, uh, simple patterns uh, where some of the other tools uh, may need a little more uh, fine tuning. Um, let's take a look now at some of the differences and some of the accessories we have available. You see are a couple of different uh, versions of the product. First of all, you can see that it is an all metal housing, uh, making it very robust and has a chance to dissipate the heat. It is rated as an IP67 enclosure. On top of the inspector is a screw that is turned and that is how you do your focusing. The software aids, there's also a flashing light that aids in setting up the focus. It flashes a little more rapidly as you get better focus and there's a sliding uh, visual image uh, of a little bar going across as you adjust your focus. It automatically helps you uh, to figure out what the best focus is. And notice the window here on this model. This is a 10. The window is rectangular in shape. The lens is not uh, interchangeable. You, you buy one with a fixed lens. The alternative is to get uh, the dome lens that comes uh, mounted instead, and that gives you a very, very diffuse and uh, dispersed light. Works very good for more complex uh, shaped or curved shaped objects. The, the general field of view that works well, or the, the distance that this works well at, is, is with the internal lighting that's built in, is good for about up to about a foot away. Beyond that, uh, you can focus all the way to infinity, but you may need external lighting in order to get the best results. Now, the two new models, the i20 and the i40, notice the difference that we have a round aperture here in the front, and this is able to be unscrewed, and you can put in different lenses for different focal lengths if you want, or you can also add filters. This happened to be a red filter, but there's green and blue filters available also. This aids in bringing out uh, different colors and products for doing sorting and other objects. And this lens also can be changed even for the dome lens to be put in, in its place. That can be done as a retrofit. Uh, we are showing you know, a typical standard mounting bracket as an accessory. Notice that the Ethernet port is a uh, IP67 rating with a M12 connector, as is the input, output, and uh, power connector. So uh, the inspector, in addition to having an object locator, also, you can do as many as 32 detailed inspections to uh, fine-tune exactly the product and see the difference is in uh, what you're trying to sort or reject or to, uh, to accept as a viable product. So that's a pretty good summary. Bas uh, basically, it gives you the different features of the inspector. Thank you.